So there's big news. Uh, there's big news out there. This uh, this week was a big week in the news. New oh, Jersey. this was a fucking roller coaster ride yeah. of a week. Yeah, man. there was a lot Brain of wreck of a week. News, but first, of course, and it was a short we week. Talk, yeah, but first, of course, we have to talk about New Jersey, and our hearts go out to all of the victims. Uh, our hearts are all still with yes. all of the victims of New Jersey, and and. Our hearts and minds are with the people of New Jersey. And by that, I mean everyone who sadly still has to live in New Jersey. Yes. Hashtag never forget. And that's it. The four is spelled with a number four. But no, did you hear about the nuclear power plant explosion in southern New Jersey? No, I did not. Well, well, here's the thing. Because frankly, because frankly, frankly, exploding nuclear power reactors doesn't seem like much of a fucking threat anymore yeah yeah well thankfully no one was seriously injured because it be by the explosion thankfully on account of the fact that it never actually happened ah but that didn't stop the new jersey emergency broadcast system last week from broadcasting a warning of a nuclear power plant explosion on all of their TV stations in freaking prime time. Oh my, how did I not hear about this? There was a training exercise and, and, and the New Jersey uh, uh, emergency broadcast system was just doing a training exercise and they were training. And he, as part of the training exercise, they were, they were pretending to put a warning out there. For but, a but, the, but, but that's explosion. what the other one is fucking for. But they accidentally actually put it on TV I as a know. real warning. It wasn't a, this is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Just imagine you're in New Jersey and you're like, hey, I better wash my gold chains. But if first, if, 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 first I'm going to sit down and watch King of Queens reruns. And you're watching TV and it's like 7 p.m. and suddenly your TV is warning you about an imminent nuclear power plant emergency in your area and you must evacuate. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. How do you fuck that? Up? <laughs> that has been happening. The in- emergency broadcast interruptions have been happening fucking close to the invention of television mm-hmm. without anybody fucking up. Tell me the country's not getting stupider. Yeah. Tell however, me the country is just not getting stupider. However, in a world, in a world where our ridiculously corrupt American government can literally make up fake national tragedies mm-hmm. like the Bowling Green Massacre, it's important that we all take some time this week to remember all of the victims of the senseless and accurateless New Jersey nuclear power plant explosion. Again, yeah. hashtag never forget. Never forget. The word four is 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 a spelled with the number four. And please, if you can, donate to the families. Yes, please no. donate to the families of the new of the New Jersey nuclear power plant explosion. Also, but also, at the same but at the same time, if I happen to have been in New Jersey, which could have happened in my life, if I happen to have been in New Jersey, I have some family in Jersey, um, and that happened, the first thing out of my mouth would be like, "Fucking knew it." yeah just fucking knew it yeah and then you go okay maybe this is some sort of mistake let me change the channel and see and see if this is on some other network and it's on all the networks Mm -hmm. just imagine that yeah crazy it's a crazy story anyway um there was there was a bunch of other things that happened in the news you probably heard uh, over the news, the, the the number one, the big story uh-huh. that comedian Kathy Griffin killed Donald Trump. Yep. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. Because every but all Republicans are acting like this. And 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 we here at the Pope on Film denounce Kathy Griffin because she shouldn't have done it and it's in poor taste and 
fucking shut up about it already. She fucking apologized. We've never gotten a goddamn apology out of you. And and she fucking lost her job. What else do you really want? Yeah, Ted Nugent planned and literally constantly talked about killing President Obama. And nothing happened to him. He was invited to the White House by President Trump. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kathy Griffin poses with a fake bloody head. And suddenly she's a pariah. And the thing that kills me is that Republicans are literally acting like we got rid of one of those liberal one of the liberal elite. They're like, ha ha, liberals. Look what we did. We took down your biggest celebrity. We took mm-hmm. down the Kathy Griffin. Yeah. It's like, bitch, we don't care about Kathy Griffin. Yeah, you know, kidding? Kathy Griffin, I mean, I mean, it's when when she pops up in a movie, it's just like, oh, Kathy Griffin. That's that's like it. That's like it. Uh-huh. To me, to me, Kathy Griffin is the snake plissken of stand-up comedy. Okay? Yeah. Because every yeah. time she pops up, I look and I go, oh, I thought she was dead. Yeah. Okay? But, but what Kathy Griffin did is like a musician taking a stage dive, not realizing that he that he completely overestimated his popularity when he impacted the fucking floor. Yeah. That's what Kathy Griffin did. Yeah. Okay. Not Yeah. Bit, but, bit but don't silly. give me don't give me this shit that you fucking denounce her and you have always denounced actions like this. Most of you are lying motherfuckers. Yeah. Most of you yeah. are straight up lying motherfuckers. Yeah. You know, if we have ever come together as a nation in all this fucking madness, it was pretty much that Kathy Griffin acted like a fucking jerk. Yeah. Like, there's no argument here. Okay. Yeah. So why are you being monkeys? Yeah. Oh, ridiculous. the fucking gaslighting is is really oh, making yeah. me want to fucking scream. Oh, yeah. The gaslighting that's going on, because that's gaslighting too. If you notice, okay. If you notice, because we have to stretch out the show until Tasha gets home anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it it always kind of comes down the same way. Okay, something happens that triggers the right. Okay, yeah, okay, and we all get fucking triggered. Okay, so let's yeah. stop that horse shit. Yeah, I'm not triggered. You're triggered. I'm not triggered. You're triggered. We've all got shit that triggers us. Okay, yeah. so the right gets triggered over something. Okay, and as soon as it happens, they are just scatter shotting arguments. Okay, because they don't know what they're talking about, and nobody has told them what to think yet. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so they say just ridiculous gibberish. All right, and the next day, somewhere, they get the fucking script. They get Mm -hmm. the script, and then they are all saying exactly the same thing. Yeah. And it's still wrong. Yeah, congratulations, Republicans. You took down one liberal celebrity. Good for you. Meanwhile, Sean Hannity is wondering uh, what other jobs he can get. Yeah. But but, But the conservative Republicans didn't do it alone. I condemn her actions. I think it's bullshit what she did. That's disgusting. Come on, lady. That's not funny. It's not cute. It's not meaningful. It's stupid. There, that's what yeah, you said. Okay. So, do you want to do you want to keep it up, or do we have to start getting into First Amendment rights? So, we have to start getting into artistic freedoms. Do you really want to fucking have this conversation with us? Yeah, I will. I will come out. I'm sorry. I am totally, totally. I really just want to fucking scream. We are now officially the bad guys in the fucking world. 
Yeah. We are we I, it's I us, will, man. I will absolutely come out right here on the podcast and say that I absolutely condemn Kathy Griffin's actions every New Year's Eve. Stop hosting the goddamn ball dropping. You're not you're not uh Dick Clark. You are not Dick Clark. Yeah. You will never be Dick Clark. I never watch you. Mm -hmm. I never watch you. You, 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 you screw, screw your New Year's Eve rockin' party. Yes, I condemn Kathy Griffin's New Year's. Is hey, hey, if 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 you're not on the channel with the ball, I, I don't know who you are or what channel you're on. I have, I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, and I haven't watched that in like forever. Yeah, no, neither have I. <laughs>